Surfers will surf almost any conditions, and this day at El Porto was a prime example. I'm Brad Jacobson, and I run around chasing waves, the people who ride them, and tell stories about these adventures. Who in their right mind would wake up early on their day off with sleep-in type weather, slide into a thick rubber suit, and jump into the cold, choppy ocean just to be greeted with ugly waves crashing on their heads? surfers and the funny thing is they'll do it with a smile saturday october 23rd at el porto was not your ideal surf conditions a storm laid just off the coast giving the ocean a texturized choppy surface what does this mean for surfers crazy bumpy rides with waves breaking everywhere so why do they do it why not just wait for a day or so for better conditions well there's a couple of reasons first and foremost they're addicted. Being outside in nature, swapping stories with friends in the lineup is part of the addiction. But the thing they crave most is the rush of the drop-in and the thrill of a good turn or crazy maneuver. Another reason is that surfers are optimistic. You might disagree with that statement, but just let me explain. Surfers paddle out on days like this because they believe there's a chance against all odds that they are going to score a great wave. And on this day, while there weren't any epic waves, there were a few that made getting up early and paddling out worth it. Unfortunately, most surfers on this day never scored that fun wave. scenario award goes to Hunter Jones. Hunter buckled his brand new board on the very first wave of his morning. First wave, man. Brand new board. I don't know. I think I just came down too hard on it. I have no idea how that happened. No board up. So there you have it. A simple explanation of why surfers will surf in almost any conditions. Please hit that subscribe button if you like this video. I'm Brad Jacobson and I'll see you on the sand.